Well, a very good evening to you from wherever you're watching. Well, welcome to another classic edition of the Candy Talk. Well, my name is Evans Okini. Now, joining me to discuss and understand the nitty gritties of the coastal politics is none other than Professor Haman Manura himself. Prof, how are you? Fine, thank you. You look Evans. smart today. Very smart. I've always been smart. Why today? <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, Prof. Well, thank you so much for finding time to yes. make it actually to this show. And uh, we want to focus today on uh, the cost of politics, specifically Mombasa County, and perhaps focus on the Mombasa County gubernatorial race and see who is actually winning this uh, particular race. But, uh, Prof, Mombasa uh, governor race is one of the most keenly watched in the country. Why? Well, uh, Mombasa is second Nairobi in importance. Mm -hmm. and therefore, once we have uh, dealt with Nairobi, I certainly now turn to Mombasa. Mm -hmm. uh, it is also an important seaport, mm -hmm. I mean, an important port. Mm -hmm. uh, politics in Mombasa are also hot. Mm -hmm. You know, people are interested in places where politics is hot. Mm -hmm. And in Mombasa, politics is hot. Mm -hmm. So that's why people are focusing on Mombasa. Mm -hmm. Second only to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So, do you think that Mombasa gubernatorial contest this time round is expected to be a major showcase? I don't think so because mm -hmm. the the front runner has no competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he doesn't have serious competition. Uh, Nasir doesn't have competition. If Songo had been cleared, yes, mm -hmm. we would be talking of a fierce fight between a fierce battle between uh, Songo and Nasir. Mm -hmm. But as it were, Hassan. Omar is, mm -hmm. is is really nothing. So definitely, you're thinking that Hassan Omar uh, cannot yeah, yeah. match no Nasir. No candidate there can match Nasir. But, but Nasir. So they have robbed the people of, of the fun. There's no fun. Really. There's nothing to follow in Mombasa politics now. Uh -huh. Nasir is already the governor. But but proof here we are talking about uh, Hassan Omar being the first senator of Mombasa County. But uh, Abdul Samad, Sheriff Nasir, yes, but uh, the MP for Vita, how comes? Uh, Omar Hassan can just talk. But not he doesn't he doesn't have the muscle. Mm -hmm. People like Omar Hassan are good people, but unless they are they are pushed mm -hmm. to become things on their own, they cannot. They just empty. They just talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Mombasa politics is tough. Mm -hmm. Omar Hassan can only win if he's in a part of our formation. Mm -hmm. That is, for example, mm -hmm. if he was part of Azimio now, yes, he could just become the senator. Mm -hmm. Something like that, or even they wanted him to be governor. He could mm -hmm. just become governor. Mm -hmm. But now that Azmio has uh, has uh, this other guy Nasir, mm -hmm. you can forget. So are you trying to say that the same way Joho beat Hassan uh, Hassan Omar at that time is the same way Nasir is going to beat him? No, wait, Joho, Joho is in another class. Mm -hmm. Joho is in the Super League. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, uh, like a young elephant, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, a calf of an elephant. Mm -hmm. uh, especially the bull, mm -hmm. the young bull, mm -hmm. uh, whenever the father steps somewhere, mm -hmm. he also takes his foot to measure there. And Nasir has been doing it. Mm -hmm. he, he can't quite replace Joho. Mm -hmm. He's not Joho's class, mm -hmm. but he's getting there. So it's. Proof now that you've mentioned Joho's name, somebody could argue that perhaps Sheriff Nasir is just but hiding or rather riding under Joho's court. But that's how politics works. Uh -huh. In politics, even Joe himself, he didn't just spring from nowhere. Mm -hmm. You know, in politics, there are people who prop you up. There are people who support you. There are people mm -hmm. under whose name you operate. Just, mm -hmm. just everywhere in the world, that's how politics works. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, are you insinuating that despite the fact that Joe is not vying for any elective post in the coastal region, he still has got an influence, oh, especially to Mombasa? Huge influence. Mm -hmm. Immense influence. And if, if you want to know Joe has influence, mm -hmm. if, for example, Sonko had been cleared, mm -hmm. that's then you could see that Joe is powerful. He was going to give Sonko a run for his money. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, Sonko was going to do very well, even win. Mm -hmm. But there was no guarantee that he was going to win mm -hmm. because of Joe. The politics of the coast is complicated, mm -hmm. very complicated. And mm -hmm. Joe is a key player in that politics. Mm -hmm. You ignore you know so, Joe. You do so at your own peril. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, proof, the coastal region has predominantly been a uh, railer zone, but of late we are seeing a number of things uh, changing and shaping up. 
and uh, a number of politicians also coming in to find their way in there. You've seen Raila beat the past uh, 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 presidential contestant uh, whom they were with actually at that point. Could the entry of people like William Root or any other person perhaps influence uh, Raila's popularity down there oh, certainly, certainly. and ultimately influence the gubernatorial outcome? Um, in some parts of the coast, yes. Uh -huh. Like, for example, Raila's winning influence mm -hmm. in, in, in Kuala mm -hmm. has meant that uh, the UDA candidate might have an upper hand mm -hmm. over the Azimio candidate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Kuala, but not everywhere. Mm -hmm. People just about Kuala, maybe Lamu, Kidogo, mm -hmm. Tima, Isa Timani, maybe, but by and large, mm -hmm. by and large, uh, Raila's influence and Joe's influence still intact at the coast. Mm -hmm. But Ruto has made inroads, mm -hmm. uh, not sufficient to replace Raila as a kingpin, as a major man at the cost. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, Prof, there is a time that it was assumed that as long as you are pro-Raila in the coast region, then definitely you can win any seat, especially, uh, especially, especially, especially Mombasa, Mombasa County. Now, here comes Amar, uh, Osan, Hassan Omar, who is uh, actually struggling. Then also we have uh, uh, Mohamed Ali. Now, Mohamed Ali has made it with or without the support of Odinga and Joho. How comes? You know, you know, you can't have it all. Yeah, you know, to Raila cannot be the master, of course, in the way he's the master of Nyanza. Mm -hmm. Even in Nyanza, there are people like uh, that guy of Unguja, mm -hmm. Ugenya. Mm -hmm. he's, he's not only a man, he has won, and I'm sure he's going to win most likely. Mm -hmm. the, there is Gumbo. Mm -hmm. Not in uh, ODM, of course, in Azimio, but. Not the ODM. He could beat Orengo. I'm not saying he will. I'm saying he could beat Orengo. So there are always those exceptions mm -hmm. that you may not be quite a Joho person at the coast. You may not be a Raila person in Mombasa, but you can sneak in. And that's mm -hmm. how, how Ali, Ali, this Ali chap. Mm -hmm. And there are also many things at play. Mm -hmm. Because there are also many Luos in Nyali. You know, this is Kenya's tribe. Mm -hmm. There are many Luos in Nyali. And there's this former Nyali MP who also wanted to be governor. Yes, time. I know him. He, Ezra, still wanted, Ezra, he has Ezra. influence. Yeah. And he's he, not so happy with people like Raila. He's actually in the gubernatorial race. Uh, yeah, he's there. And uh, those kind yeah. of people could have influenced the victory of Ali. Mm -hmm. There are always dynamics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now, my question is this. Muhammad Ali successfully vied and won under uh, uh, his own kind of nature. And right now he's under UDA. The same way oh, Hassan Omar is under UDA. Could this people really influence and perhaps get... Uh, has an Omar winning this thing? No, as an Omar cannot. As an Omar, even opinion polls are giving him six, seven there. I don't know, but I uh -huh. don't quite mean that uh, opinion polls are to go when to anything to go by that much. Uh -huh. But as an Omar is not much for Nasir. Uh -huh. He's so far behind. Uh -huh. uh, this thing has it, Nasir will have it by over fifty percent. Uh -huh. Yes. Now assuming. Assuming that uh, Hassan Omar wins, could this redraw perhaps uh, and redefine the political landscape of the coastal region? That is hypothetical. Uh -huh. Hassan Omar winning gubernatorial seat in Mombasa. This is hypothetical. Where will he draw his support from? Uh -huh. Knowing how Mombasa politics works, knowing the ethnic configuration of the coast uh -huh. and of Mombasa, how would he win? Because uh -huh. the people he would want to turn to first belong to Joe and Nasir, and they will not listen to him. Uh -huh. Now, the other place is going to look. He will not turn to the Swahili Arab kind of uh, group. Mm -hmm. That's where he should start. Mm -hmm. But that's where Nasir and Joho are. They mm -hmm. occupy that space. Mm -hmm. He will not turn to religion mm -hmm. because Mela of Islam, Hassan Omar, and Nani. Mm -hmm. It is Joho and Nasir. So, then there's in, in Mombasa and the coast in Jena, but particularly mm -hmm. Mombasa. There's always the Arab world Mombasa link, mm -hmm. which is important in terms of even financing mm -hmm. and the, the kind of assistance they give to people long before election, in mm -hmm. between election. Mm -hmm. Again, if you go there, it is Joho and Nasir, because this is something that Nasir, the, the father of this young man, mm -hmm. that's why he was there all those years, mm -hmm. because he was the, con the link between the, 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 the poor Muslims, the poor Waswahili, and the Arab donors who brought things for them. And they still do those kind of things. So I'm saying, where will Hassan Omar turn? Mm -hmm. Where? 
Okay, best proof there is also the fact of the migrant population in the coastal region, especially uh, Mombasa, who actually feel marginalized and perhaps uh, kind of treated otherwise by the Joe regime. Could they perhaps vote for uh, Asan Omar in defense? The migrant communities, mm -hmm. in fact, are more as immune because then you are talking about people from the Manyala, the rest, mm -hmm. the Luyas from Busia mainly. Mm -hmm. Then you are talking about the Luos. Mm -hmm. Then you are talking about the Kambas. Mm -hmm. Those are the main migrant communities. Mm -hmm. And they are definitely as mm -hmm. if, if tribe is anything to go by. Mm -hmm. So why, why does that live as a normal? That is the community Nani was targeting. Sonko. Mm -hmm. The indigenous black community and the upcountry people, they were ganging together mm -hmm. to give Sonko. And that's why Sonko was going to scoop. The, 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 but he was going to reckon with Johan and Nasiri also. It's going to be a serious battle. But a really, really battle. Anybody could have become vic uh, vic victorious. But mm -hmm. a really, really battle. But for now, it's, there's no battle. Mm -hmm. Which group? If you look at all the groups, migrant communities, there will be Azimio in the absence of Songo. Mm -hmm. uh, Arab, Swahili, Muslim, all those again are under Joe and Nasir. So where does Nani turn to? Mm -hmm. He's left by, with the, the, the indigenous coastal people, mm -hmm. the Mijikenda. Mm -hmm. Now, he is as alien to them as Joe and Nasir are, if you call that alien. Mm -hmm. So, he's, he enjoys no advantage. Mm -hmm. Nothing, none at all. There is absolutely... I'm telling you, Nasir, that other name I can't pronounce, so difficult mm -hmm. for me. Abdul Ziji, what? Abdul Samad, Sharif Nasir. Nasir. <laughs> Sharif Nasir, Sharif Nasir. Nasir. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That one yes. has more than 50. Uh -huh. percent of the vote mm -hmm. yes Prof, finally, there is the issue of the port factor that has actually uh, provided a lot of political fodder to some of these politicians here do the coastal people view that as perhaps a spectrum or other factor of voting of course the people of mombasa are very unhappy with the, with the port issue extremely uh -huh. unhappy so if that is true it has killed mombasa's life even uh -huh. if you go to mombasa the mombasa I used to know when i go uh -huh. it's not the same mombasa uh -huh. but that's the people are not stupid uh -huh. They know it was Ruto and, and, and who, who did this thing. Uh -huh. They are not that foolish. They know. You can't turn around and say, I will bring back, back the port. When there is a lot of evidence, including clips of you defending Naivasha, uh -huh. and you are part of government. Uh -huh. You never raised a finger when, 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 when people are being forced to use SGR. Uh -huh. You know? Again, the people who drive those lorries were, were part of the Mombasa, are part of the Mombasa life. Uh -huh. So when the government forces people to use the rail line, uh -huh. in carrying cargo. You uh -huh. are killing, in a sense, you are killing part of Mombasa life. It's not uh -huh. just the port itself. Even uh -huh. the people being forced, uh -huh. transporters, uh -huh. people transporting goods, uh -huh. to use the rail line. Uh -huh. So where was Ruto all that time? It uh -huh. doesn't sell. People are not as stupid as some politicians might think. Uh -huh. It cannot be. If there was somebody that's not Ruto. But, but Hassan Omar is campaigning under the basic... That is, it basic won't sell. I'm telling you, it can't sell. It can't sell. <laughs> of bringing back the point it operations to Mombasa. Oh. In fact, if Raila says, says I'll bring it, uh -huh. because he was not part of the, the problem, uh -huh. at least he can be believed. Uh -huh. You know, reluctantly, people can be like, way we na huru. like in reluctantly. Uh -huh. But for Ruto, you are part of government. You have defended SGR. When you count the things you have done, SG, to maleta SGR, to mefanya nini. Then you turn around now and say, they will not believe you. Those people will not believe you. No, finally, as we wrap up the conversation, um, despite the fact that uh, Abdul Samad Sheriff Nasir actually absconded the Mombasa County gubernatorial uh, debate, but the opinion polls still put him way much ahead of the other... Uh, he has no competition. Uh -huh. There is no competition. In fact, Nasir should join Raila's campaign, national uh -huh. campaign. He has no competition at all. He has uh -huh. already won. Only Sonko would have given him a run for his money. Uh -huh. So it's, there is no contest in Mombasa. Hassan mm -hmm. Omar in Bogogani. Mm -hmm. in Bogogani. So, in, so in short, you're saying... Nasir is already the governor of Mombasa, short mm -hmm. of a miracle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hassan Omar can't find it anymore. No, no. no. It's nowhere. Well, thank you so much, Prof, for finding time yet again to join us. Well, viewers, allow me to stop at that point for today's episode of the Candid Talk. But please don't fail to subscribe to this channel so that you may uh, get notified whenever we upload any content pertaining to this. Remember, we also host a number of shows uh, actually on Herman Manyoro's channel with CSR Brigade coming next and Business Glide 
and so many other shows that are lined up to you. Kindly please subscribe so that you may help us reach 100,000 subscribers. Thank you for now. My name is Evans Okinyi. Okay.